there, welcome to the new Aviana episode. They were in Chicago, Illinois at the DuPage Airport and I'm working on a TBM. It's a 2001 TBM. The TBM is a single engine turboprop which similar to a Meridian in that they're both single engine turboprops. However, this is a bigger aircraft and it, it goes faster. It also burns more fuel so you have more exhaust coming out and that exhaust like the Meridian ends up mostly on the right side of the fuselage. So with the TBM, it, it, it's just a darker exhaust, probably because it burns so much more fuel. And um, when it ends up on there, generally people don't wash it with no rinse and citrus cleaner, right? They scrub it. And when they scrub it, we get a lot of scratches. And those scratches increase the surface area of the paint. So we end up with more places for that um, exhaust to kind of embed itself. So it makes it harder to clean. So you scrub it harder the next time around. Perpetuating cycle of doom. So the scratches aren't great. However, the other problem with the turboprop exhaust is that it oxidizes the paint. So the clear coat on here, instead of being a nice translucent clear, is actually slightly yellow. And we've done a few test, test spots around the plane and you can actually notice the, the silvers brightening up and that yellowing going away um, as we remove that oxidized layer of clear coat. So we're gonna do a paint correction on here. On, um, on the areas that get a lot of exhaust and there's a lot of scratching, we're gonna do a multi-stage paint correction because the, the single step isn't quite cutting all of that off. Um, once we're done with that, we're gonna coat the whole thing in a ceramic coating. The coating is gonna help protect the paint from that exhaust ingress. And it's also gonna make it a lot easier to clean. And when something's easier to clean, you're not gonna be scrubbing it, you're not gonna be scratching it. So step one, we're gonna start with washing the plane. We're gonna use optimum no rinse. We're gonna use a little bit of citrus cleaner here and there to cut the really tough exhaust off. Uh, then we're gonna start paint correction, then coating. Day two, um, no, it's actually day one. Yesterday was a partial day, so today's like the full first day. Um, didn't get as far as I wanted last night. The paint is very, very hard and has a lot of paint defects on it. And our process just wasn't, it, it was removing the staining, but the, the scratching is so bad. Um, I, I'd like to give it another go, um, just to see if we can make it a little bit better. And um, I just couldn't figure out a good process for that. So I did what detailers do when they need a better process, a Texas Kevin Brown. Um, and with what is available at Harbor Freight M105, um, we're gonna try something different. So um, we're gonna swing by, it's, uh, it's like 720 right now, so Harbor Freight isn't open yet, but we're gonna go buy some 105. Um, 105 is a good old school compound um, it has a propensity to dust a little bit more, but um, we may come up with some sort of air filtration system or, or just blow the pads out outside. Um, but with the amount of paint correction we have to do, that's going to be blowing off pads like every pass. So um, that it's going to be a lot of back and forth. But anyway, I'm going to go uh, get ready for the day, uh, go to Harbor Freight, pick up some 105, and uh, we'll touch back uh, when I'm back at the plane. So after texting back and forth with Kevin Brown, we came up with a little bit modified procedure. We're going to use M105 and we're going to do a knockdown step with the wool pad. Then we're actually going to switch to a microfiber cutting pad. The microfiber cutting pad has a lot more surface area actually than a wool pad. So it can trap more abrasives and because of that it, it can put more cut on the paint. Our issue is that we're, we're getting the yellowing off, but we're not getting some of those deeper scratches that are embedded with soot out. So, um, so we just need a much more aggressive combination to get this to, to turn out. 
Now I put a little tape line down just to show you the difference before and after a little bit better. Um, it, it's hard to tell otherwise on the silver. But uh, yeah, we're going to start with this. Wool pad, dual action polisher, and a generous amount of 105. It's going to be messy. Now this is going to splatter everywhere if, I don't, if I'm not careful. So I'm going to kind of rub it in here a little bit. Get that pad primed. I'm going to go at a slower speed. So we're really just removing the loose oxidation, not really doing a lot of cutting. So that's a pretty fast, um, pretty fast cut because we're just trying to get all the easy to remove stuff off. Now we're going to do our heavy, higher speed, higher pressure cut. Um, same 105, but new microfiber pad. So now after that heavier correction, um, we got some micro marring that um, is just the artifact of a heavier correction. So we're going to use the rotary, yellow pad, hyper polish to get those marks out and, and kind of finish, polish it and, and get the maximum amount of gloss. Let's see, see what happens. So here's before. Now we have a lot of scratches on this plane. I'm not going to be able to fix that, but see how it's just kind of gray? And here's the after. Got a lot of those scratches out, the deeper scratches remain, but look at the clarity of the paint. See how it's just a lighter silver? That's what we're going for. That's the embedded staining that's coming out. And once we get to the right hand side wing, it'll it'll actually be even more dramatic, but just want to show you the new modified process that we came up with for this plane. So we're panel wiping now, this is a strong alcohol solution to get any polish oils out because we did a lot of polishing and uh, some of that oil can still be on the paint. So we're just going to wipe down the plane before coating, make sure it's perfectly clean. So we're going to do the whole fuselage first, then we're going to coat the whole fuselage and then we'll, uh, we'll deal with the wings tomorrow morning. We got it panel wiped, coating time. Coating goes on the applicator. And then uh, we just wipe it on. It goes on kind of like a thin oil. Get it spread nice and even. Then we use two towels to remove it. So this one's gonna be the wetter towel to get the excess off. And this towel gets the last remaining bit off. And there you have it, super slick. Within about an hour, it's gonna be waterproof. So it uh, cures pretty fast.
So it's 12.30, zero dark 30. Fuselage is done coating, which is a big, big undertaking. That took about four hours. TBMs are big planes, um, but the fuselage is fully coated. So tomorrow morning, we're gonna um, polish the underside of the wings and then coat the tops and bottoms of the wings, coat the tops and bottoms of the horizontal stabilizer elevator and uh, that'll be it. We'll be done, as far as I can remember. Um, might do a little bit of leather restoration as well. We'll see if we have time for that, but we'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Good morning, day three. Uh, it's Sunday. We're going to uh, finish the fuselage. We're going to work on the wings today, so we're going to drop down the flaps. Once the flaps are down, we have a lot more surface area that we can work on um, versus when they're tucked in. So. Uh, lowering the flaps, you always want to make sure it's clear on both sides underneath. The TBM has massive flaps. I'd say probably 70% of the wing has a flap hanging off of it. Um, so, yeah, we, we want to make sure that all of that gets polished. And uh, all we have left really is polishing the underside of the wings and then coating those. So, top of the wings are already polished. We're going to coat those. Then the horizontal stabilizer needs to be coated as well, but it's already polished. Flaps clear. Done. Airplane's coated. I'm gonna pack up, meet with the owner, and get out. What a wonderful feeling. Took a little bit of extra time. Um, some heavy paint correction went into this side of the plane. This is where all that exhaust pulls up, right? And um, that clear coat was in rough shape. So a little bit of extra paint correction went into that, but the results speak for themselves. Coating went on, airplane is super slick, and uh, that's gonna help things like bugs come off, but it's also gonna help exhaust come off, and it's gonna make the exhaust come off a lot easier. So instead of needing to take a scrub brush or a broom, microfiber towel, a little bit of citrus cleaner, you're on your way. Um, of course, if you use the citrus cleaner, follow up with some no rinse, get that soap off of there, so the soap isn't attracting dirt, right? But it's it, it just looks great um, paints gonna be protected for a long time we don't have to worry about repainting anytime soon I'm uh, I'm gonna pack up I'm gonna get a few beauty shots of this plane and um, we'll catch you next time I think I'm going to Washington State next but I don't remember for sure but if you subscribe you'll know when I find out so thanks for watching have a good rest of your day